24 of the world's elite players are competing for a place in the lucrative grand finals in December. The new format ensures it's a game of high speed 24 minute matches timed by the in-house clock. Players have a maximum of 15 seconds between points, so brace yourself with me in the box again for this evening's session is Ashley Given, the five times national Irish women's champion. Is this going to be a, a good match up then? Pota and the young Japanese player. I think it's going to be an interesting game all around. Miyu Kahara, new to T2, had a great victory yesterday over Bernadette Shocks of Romania, four games to two. Pota coming into this match though with an upsetting loss. A little bit upset after that match yesterday, but she's composed herself in high spirits today, so she's ready to fight. In comes Mr. Seng of Malaysia. So many great umpires that have joined us for the feast here in the T2 Cavern. So ladies and gents, sit back, relax, and enjoy some high level table tennis for this evening's session. One, love. Good love from Pota. Yesterday we seen Bernadette Schlocks having a little bit of trouble with Kihara's backhand pimple, but the flat style may suit Pota. She likes to take the backhand really quick off bounce. One, two. A huge feature of Kihara's game is this really talented service that she possesses, carving oh. round the right hand side of the ball. That's quite unique, especially in the women's game. This is more Let a trademark. Your service, your service not vertical enough. Service not going up. The required 15 centimeters. This has to be careful Three, with the ball two. toss. But the porter service. Quite a good service delivery, to be fair. Just needs to keep mixing up the placements. Roscoff appreciating what he's seeing so far. Spin off the pimples from Pota. This flat to flat style she is okay with. Five, two. Point on serve. Always comes in handy. Yes. Good play all round from Potter. Moving well, pivoting, getting her forehand in. Something tells me this game for both players is going to be lost or won on serve and receive. So it's the Hungarian that comes out of the blocks far quicker. And that was a speedy Nine, forehand four. kill as well. One of her trademark shots, that. The little backhand over and the forehand crunch. 
Always looking to take the ball early. Doesn't lose ground from the table. So six game points already. Now and for first game, the bottom of Dave Ross. Quick as that. Less than four minutes. Wow. Regina Potter, although she lost that point, has bounced back from yesterday's defeat. A lot of players, the domino effect of losing one match, coming in a little bit defeated, but this has certainly one. fired her up. I'm sure this is a matchup that she was waiting for as well. A lot of players don't like playing against the short pimple. Potter's certainly Three. not one of those players though. herself before serving and it paid off a nice little float serve into the forehand Potter thinking there's a little bit more on it she respected the serve but just took it out wide long off the table that's one of her trademark shots just watch the way she carves round the right hand side of the ball that adds to the control element in the shot. This set certainly a lot tighter than the previous one where Poto walked away the winner, 11-4. Yeah. A little forehand shunt. Quite effective against that serve. And okay, the Hungarians lost that point, but that was the right way to play. Looking to take the ball, accelerate the wrist through it. Five, six. That time, the heavy serve spin being a disadvantage to put up. Got her own spin returned to her. Left. No. It's good from Kihara. Seven, Stepping in, looking to attack. Taking the game to Potter. Now leading seven to five. How good is that? The way she just hacked underneath the receive. Wasn't quite sure what was on the serve. But that just gave her time within the point. Just a little slide of change of spin during that point from Potter. She played a little bit soft during the last two points, slowing it down, adding a little bit more spin. Not allowing Mihu Kihara to get into any rhythm of fast to fast play. Yeah. It's a clever it's service. Sorry. A little bit bouncier. Definitely on purpose. She's done that before in previous matches to success. Yeah. 
Selwyn Knight. Linking up nicely from service into the first ball attack. And now Kahara finds herself 7-9 down. But that's again both players, Eight, in nine. fact, linking up nicely. Serve and receive elements of the game. Good read of serve early on. A lot of players would have attacked that as it did drift. But with the heaviness, Potter just cutting underneath it. It's very clever. No one eight. Didn't look very pretty, <laughs> but definitely got the job done. <laughs> there it was, the dying swan. So there we go. 11 4 and 11 8 to Georgina Porter and Team Rossi to get them off to a flyer at the start. And your service. So if it's short, it's perfect service. If it's long, then it must be really long. And then you can mix it up. Yeah? Come on, Come on. Players come back to the table. Let's see if Pota can build on this two set to love lead or well, Kihara love come out with a stormer and steal a set. Well, that was the right idea from the love Hungarian's love. racket going directly into the forehand of Kihara. Clever again. That backhand serve sometimes just sits a little bit higher on purpose to try and invite you in for the forehand flick. She wants to get into rallies. One, I bet two. some of you club level players out there do the same thing. Some of these rolly, bouncy serves and say to your mate, come on then, have a go at that and they club it and it hits the back wall. Left. One, two. Left. One, two. No. It's a lovely serve two. from Kahara, long and flat. Oh. Again, not fitting the Hungarian, but you could build upon that, get in, follow up with the next ball. Back and flowing pretty nicely so far. And Georgina Pota playing every backhand, a good bit of conviction. And the same again. Although Three, that went net four. off, there was good acceleration in the forearm and wrist. It's what you need if you're going to keep putting some good backhands over with authority. Five, three. Gina Potter, definitely one of Europe's greatest players during the rallies. Excellent being able to mix with spin and then playing a lovely flat hit to try and finish off the point. I like that little rolly block Four, that she six. hits. 
sure some of you players out there can relate to that shot. You're not quite in position footwork wise. So you've got to improvise. Nice play from Kihara. Five, and again, six. we still have to realize Kihara is only 13 years old. So she's got years and years to improve in her game. So playing at this level already is astounding. And we've touched on that before. Six. Everyone goes on about how certain kids are talented and showing promise and all that. Well, if you want to make it in the game, you've got to be playing at least what one or two is? age groups above where you are at the moment if you really want to make a big impact on the game. I don't think anyone's told Seven, Japan that though. Six. They're playing three age groups above. 13 year old can play, still play cadets, juniors, under 21. But no, she's playing the senior events. Future definitely looks bright for Six. Japanese table tennis with Tokyo Eight. only around the corner. Look at the rallies. 15 to 7 in favour of Porta. Six when eight. we get into the, some of those extended hit to hit rallies, she definitely is favourite in those points. Fortune Nine. favors the brave. Again, Bota looking to be the proactive one in almost every rally. She extends to 9-6. Yes. Ah, flawless stuff, really. Ten, six. Thoroughly deserving of this 2-0, 10-6 lead. Slight edge. Ben Sowen. It was a winning forehand anyway. Hit so smooth and clean. Bending around the corner. There was that deliberate Love high serve there. again. Fort so team to Pota. Again, team hats Rossi. off to Team, team Rossi. Rossi. And putting Georgina Pota out first to bat. service to your forehand, you need to up spin and more to your forehand. Take care about this one. Yeah? Come on, Gina. Well played, well played. Fourth game. Kiara Bissau, Lavo. Yes. Love one. Starting the fourth set, strong as well. One more. Nice One. little angle Two. there. Creative. Lovely from the 13 year old. For being only 13, her attitude has been impeccable in her opening stages of T2. So much focus and drive. But again, she's currently three games to love down. And her attitude is excellent. Three, two. Imagine some of the, the British kids back home at that sort of age. Three or four sets down. They'd be in tears. Rackets would be thrown around the hall. Oh. You know, and that's horrible to see. Two, so it's important to keep your composure. It's important as well for coaches to instill that right from a young age. Get the attitude right of your players. 
don't fall. It's also gaining that level of respect for your opponent as well. Yukihara, new to the scene, will respect Georgina Potter. She's been in the top 20 players and remains a top five. 50 player. She's no pushover and Kihara will respect that. <laughs> Come on! Five, three. It's just going to be one of those games for Pota, isn't it? Just can't miss. Six. Commentator's Six. curse. Six, oh, the fine margins that we have in table tennis. I think if you're on a tennis court, you could hit a stinking shot and it still goes in the court. That is not the case in table tennis. Three, seven. So, 7-3 seven, to Kihara, opening up a beautiful four-point lead. And we've seen in the afternoon session earlier on a huge 8-0 start, seven. Team JJ. So, we won't want the score to get as ugly as that. Eight, four. Really is a beautiful forehand reloop from Kihara. Five minutes and counting down rapidly. Five. Much better when we see table tennis like this. Maximum of 15 seconds between points. Let's keep the good Let stuff flowing. Eight five. Point to point, end to end. It's good. Six eight. Lovely step over Six, to put a backhand nine. punch away. Nine, seven. Controlling what she can control. And that's a good execution of service and a good heavy third ball. Nine, eight. Service error. Let's see if she can compose herself. Still one point ahead. Oh. Nine all. Thinnest of edges that ooh from the crowd. Remember, the rules in T2, there is no juice. But sudden deathing it. If we get that far, game point put up. And there it is. Clenched fist. Ruthless stuff from the Hungarian. She skips back to the Team Rossi bench. Delighted. Service, you did that line twice, huh? This is okay. One. So I'm sure Michael Mays has said to his youngster, Luke, we really need you to contribute to the team here. 
You were fantastic yesterday. Go love. Mia Kahara, now we really need you to try and win one set. If we look at the stop clock, we only have a minute Three and 30 love. left. Whoever is leading after that buzzer sounds will take a point home individually. And that will also rack up One, for the team score. So keep an eye on that clock and on the good table tennis that Four, we are seeing three. in front of us. Taking that serve and flicking the wrist up as she made the last second connection. Adding a little bit of deceptive topspin on it. No! Oh! Oh, oh, come on! Georgina Porter, she's winning four sets to love it and now, of course, being so greedy once, shot of the day. <laughs> Oh. Always happens though, you hit one big point, the next one's not so easy. Four, five. 15 seconds to go, Porta has the serve, so chance to level up. Oh no, the crash flick Six. hits the wall, Four. kills a fly on the wall. And there it is. Michael Mays, all smiles, delighted that his player managed to get a point on the board for Team Mays. Well, with some big players still to come up, that 4-1 scoreline is sure to make an impact on the rest of the matches. So often we've seen as we watch a few of the match highlights, We've seen Team Rossi getting off to these horrible starts. So that's reversed. So congratulations to them. And this is going to make this match very intriguing indeed. Nice See here numerous counter hitting rallies. Many times, Porta dominating. Hitting probably what we reckon shot of the day. 